Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll tell you about the correct ratio between the amount of slates and salt wine manufacturing dishwashing liquid, okay? Especially 70% slates. What's the reason of releasing this video? Simply because, okay, we actually get comments from people saying that after manufacturing dishwashing liquid, it was not thick. Okay, or it was maybe watery or cloudy. In the case of a cloudy dishwashing liquid, what do you do? You have to top up more slates. Okay. In other terms, when you when you miss to get the proper thickness of your dishwashing liquid, you'll be topping up the raw materials, which means that you'll be actually wasting more raw material. To avoid that. We decided to release a video on the correct amount between the amount of slates, okay, and salt while manufacturing dishwashing liquid, okay, salt which is our sodium chloride salt, okay, the industrial salt. That's it. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, make sure that you subscribe, smash that like button for me, and also consider dropping us. A comment below. So how is this video going to be structured? We're first going to give out the ratio, okay, of which I'm going to explain, describe, and break it down for you. Then from there, I'll give you uh, three cases, okay, of an illustration of this, so that some of us can master this. Here we go with the ratio. The ratio is simply that the amount of slice, we're talking of 70% slice, over the amount of salt is equal to 5 over 1, okay, or 5 to 1. Very important ratio. Let us frame this. What is the meaning of this? Let's say if they ask you to find the amount of slates, knowing the amount of salt, okay, what do you do? We make our slates the subject of the formula, okay? It means what? The amount of slaves would be 5 times salt divided by 1. We can just say 5 times salt. What is the meaning of this? Knowing the amount of salt, if you want to find the amount of slaves, you have to multiply the amount of salt times 5. That is the meaning of it. Okay? Or let's say, if now you have to find the amount of salt, knowing the amount of slaves, you make it the subject of the formula from here. What do you get? It will be slaves times 1 divided by 5. Okay? So it means what? Uh, knowing the amount of slaves, if you want to find the amount of salt, you have to divide the amount of slaves by 5. That is the meaning of it, okay? Now, let us get to our illustration, whereby I'm going to give you three different cases so that some of us can master this. Here we go. On case number one, let's say if you're manufacturing dishwashing liquid using 5 kg of 70% slaves, you need to consider 1 kg of salt. On case number two, let's say you're using 2 kg of 70% slaves manufacturing dishwashing liquid, you need to consider 400 grams of salt. Case number three, if you're using 1 kg of 70% slaves manufacturing dishwashing liquid, you need to consider 200 grams of salt. That's it. Thank you guys for watching, okay? And make sure that you subscribe to the channel. As we always say, there is a lot to learn from here. Trust me. Make sure that you like our videos, share them, and also suggest the channel to people you know with the interest of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, and see you on the next video.